Hey, what's up, YouTube, and welcome to another Gill Ball Match Report. Today, I'm taking the Midas team into Aaron's new uh, fisherman team. So this is going to be exciting stuff. Hope you guys are looking forward to it. Uh, full disclosure here, this is kind of a how-to-not-play alchemist. So I make some absolutely atrocious mistakes in this video, and we'll dissect that and showcase some of the uh, fish stuff. So uh, Shark Tentacles, Knuckles, Siren, Vet Sakana, and Kraken. Meanwhile, I'm coming in. Midas Naja. Kami, Vet Cat, Crucible, and Vet Calculus in this time, really for that kind of shark legendary. Uh, so I've got a couple of good um, long dodges in this playbook. You can see Crucible kicking off here uh, towards the middle of the field uh, off on the wing here. So for the fish, they're playing that 3-0 team with uh, Shark receiving one. They need to score something first, which is very important. Two, exploit the low defense. We're going to see some good examples of that. And three, really exploit that Shark legendary uh, combined with an early score. Uh, that's absolutely fatal uh, when you're playing against that. So here goes the kick. You can see it's going to stop there. For the Alchemist, we're playing a 2-2 game. We would need to dominate momentum. Okay, so momentum game, very important for us. Um, keep conditions on them. Keep the takeout pressure on the table. And three, we got to time our goals because you don't want to just keep handing the ball back to the fish. Um, so anyways, this game, I'm just going to apologize for my very, very, very poor play uh, in this game. Um, not going to make any excuses, but we did. We were, I felt a little rushed for time and I was um, anx anxious to get in the game. And frankly, I didn't have a game plan. Like I didn't have a great thing going on. So let's speed up the uh, footage and get into it. Um, you can see the ball there midfield. Now, I'll, let's uh, talk about one thing. You know, people say, oh, get Vet Cat involved in the first turn. You could put three on him and do something. Let's do something poor. Okay, so anyways, uh, it looks like um, Vet Sakana goes up, uh, picks up the ball, and then just kicks it back to, I believe, uh, I believe he leaves it to Tentacles just for uh, some momentum there. I move up the snake. Uh, the other activation here is going to be Midas, and I'm going to just go ahead and lure um, uh, VCAT. So I do have three on VCAT, and this is very much not how I like to play VCAT. Uh, so... He's going to go into the, the heart of this, and I think I was explaining to somebody before that, hey, that's a very exploitable model, even though it's a better model. It's a very exploitable model. Uh, so you can see um, uh, he's got kind of a little Death Star there built up around that terrain. Um, again, not really proud of these moves at all. Going to sprint over and just do a couple of hits on to... Visa Kana. Now, this is horrible for a number of reasons. This is a very rookie move. I'm throwing in a 2-1 model just to get a couple of damage, a little bit of damage, a little bit of momentum. Plus, I'm rolling crap dice. Um, he's going to spend that momentum to force me to take a knockdown, which is very wise. Um, and then look at all of that influence. This is a very Aaron thing to do is to give his captain like fully load his captain for a late activation to score a bunch of momentum. But now I've given him a, a hostage with a ton of influence left on the board. So Kraken's going to go in there. He's going to do some knockdowns. He's going to push me into the fun zone there, um, exploit the uh, uh, all of those crowd outs. And meanwhile, I'm like reaching now, like who uh, I sent the person in first and I did a bad thing. There's way too much influence left on the board. Um, I could go over there with Crucible. That's also a bad idea because then I'm giving him two hostages uh, with very low defense. Um, could go in with Kami, uh, which is not a terrible idea. I mean, honestly, the lure on VCAT is pretty terrible first turn. I don't do that, but people always do the lure of VCAT first turn. I just don't think that's good. I don't, I don't think it's a good play, people. I think, especially against um, people like Aaron that, that play for late turn activations, like leave VCAT out of it early. Just don't hand them to the opponent. It's terrible. So anyways, um, so I'm going to I'm gonna go up with Vet Calculus and throw a Sticky Bomb, not with the, for the purpose of doing anything but putting a condition out there. 
and uh, two dice needing a three, and I'm going to fail it. So bad decisions, bad dice. Uh, we're going to just make the most of it. So now uh, this looks like uh, this is Siren coming in, and she's got like Rap City going on here with um, VCAT, which is awesome because uh, now it's just going to be, uh, she's going to do a bunch of damage uh, to VCAT and wreck him pretty hard here. Um, and it's, it's it's all for free. It's all for free because I gave him a hostage. Shark, meanwhile, is trying to line up a goal. Um, she then uses... Uh, she's going to use seduction to move um, uh, Midas out of the play. So here we go. This is a really nice tech for Siren. Because I have a 2-1 knockdown model crowded out three times in the middle of the field... He, Aaron gets whatever he wants. He gets whatever play he, he can have here. He can have raise the black flag. He can have seduction. He has all access to all of his tech and tons of momentum at the same time. So again, very embarrassed about my play in this game, but let's go ahead and just show you guys, like, just don't do this, guys. Don't play like this. This is super bad. Anyway, Kami's going to go in um, here and... She's going to get close to the ball. I'm sorry, that was Shark doing that. So Shark tidal waved Midas all the way back to the starting line. Um, so again, just making really good exploit, exploitative use of um, such an easy, easy target there and dice exploding at the same time. Uh, Kami's going to go in, put out a couple of conditions, but it's like too little, too late. I could have jumped back to try to get after um, Siren with the ball. But that's a lot of ifs. So I'm just going to go in on, um, on Visa Kana there. I'm going to warp over to him. And I'm deciding if I want to do that. I don't really want to go after the ball yet. So I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to stay next to Shark and uh, um, just put fire on her, try to slow her down and take away that first turn goal. Anyways, this is super bad. You can see Crucible has final activation, but it's too little too late. He's got a stack of momentum. Uh, Siren's going to go in, just like I was saying earlier, do Rhapsody and take out um, VCAT. So um, I guess that's good. I, I might have done this at the start of the second turn, so that I lose VCAT for two whole turns, but uh, you might as well take it. You got all that damage going out. Um, takes out VCAT, which is it's also not bad because now VCAT's coming in off the board and Shark can just legendary next turn and still make him fairly useless. Siren's gonna go, I'm sorry, Crucible's gonna go in. Um, I think she is just going to uh, oh, she does actually do great balls and then kicks the ball back to, uh, and Aaron lets me remeasure here. This is how sloppy I'm playing. Um, kicks the ball back to Midas, and I'm thinking, should I put Midas that way? And then I dodge the wrong way. So I dodge towards Shark, knowing Shark is going to get first turn activation. Uh, and he already has points on the board, and he has a massive lead. Uh, I do play the plus one move here, knowing that this is feet turn for Shark. Uh, which helps a little bit, but not it's not great. So first activation, he's just going to measure this out. This is about as simple as it gets. Um, shark is, well, let's finish allocating stuff. Oh, I lost footage because that's the new thing now. I've got to get a battery for this uh, new camera, guys. Apology, I, apologies for that. Shark is going to go and just easily tackle the ball off Midas. Um, he does some extra stuff here and dodges in uh, feats, getting everybody except for, I believe, Kami and Crucible, and then just kicks a goal. Um, so we'll see that in a second. So very, very easy six points. Again, this is from that whole internet telling, oh, put VCAT in first turn. I mean, he could be the last activation first turn, but he's very, very easily exploitable with a mobile two-inch melee double knockdown team that the fish is out here. I should have just, you know, listened to my instincts and played him as uh, the backfield threat and really relied on my forward 
um, on my forward ball movement to handle this. Uh, kick the ball out, trying to figure out where this is going. Uh, it lands pretty good, but everybody's caught in a net, so this isn't the best turn to put the ball directly back in play. But again, with so much influence left on the um, on the fish, this isn't the best team. So it looks like I am trying to figure out if I can jog with, uh, that would be a two inch jog with um, V calc, which is enough to get the ball and then maybe dodge forward. But I don't know if that's, uh, that's what I wanna do. I think what I should have done, I could have done that and then kicked the ball back to VCAT and dodged him up. But it looks like I go with Kami instead, snap the ball, and then kick the ball back to Midas and dodge Midas up instead. But now check this out. This is, this is some pretty cool tech here. This looks like uh, this is going to be Uh, v Sakana, he's going to try to do his, um, he's going to attack Kami and he's going to trigger his, um, uh, basically his rough seas version of the play. Pick up, just snatch the ball off of defense five. So again, dice on fire, gets exactly what he wants. Kicks the ball over far side of the board um, over to, uh, I believe that's Siren on that side of the board and just continuing to abuse Kami a little bit. So I figured that ball was pretty safe with two defense five there, but again, two of de um, defense five, but a crowd out. He gets what he wants. Um, I'm going to go in with, looks like Midas, um, legendary to try to set up some takeouts. I'm no longer playing for the ball this turn. So like the worst of all things are happening at this point. Um, but I'm gonna I'm gonna prep Shark for a takeout here, and I'm gonna do a couple of lures onto V Cat, which is nice. Uh, so dice are helping a little bit here with the crowd out to to nullify that uh, that cover, uh, and I'm just gonna draw I'm gonna drag V Cat up a little bit. Meanwhile, this side of the board, it looks like uh, Knuckles is just gonna put some work into. Uh, crucible and quickly get her out of the play so low defense very easy to exploit just going to keep moving her out of the play try so he's worried about that great balls beautiful is also really nice too because i cannot physically get i i, I think i can get close enough to do this but it's i'm going to need to go in on defense five meanwhile um vcat goes in Manages to get Shark and uh, Sakana into the melee um, and ends up doing some damage to Shark here. Actually, a significant amount of damage, but I have to, I believe I have to knock him down first. So, again, making really good use of counters to force me to do knockdowns is fantastic. Um, don't end up killing him, though. I needed a spike to to kill him uh, but do a significant amount of damage so here's where we screw up or i screw up okay so uh siren is measuring if she has a goal she does not have a goal yet um so so she's figuring okay if i clear and and sprint over there do i have a goal she is going to instead um, clear, she'll clear, oh, sorry, looks like tentacles will go and just continue to crowd out that space there, make it harder for Crucible. Crucible is going to, meanwhile, walk into range of one inch, and I'm just going to take the Hail Mary, uh, and yeah, the dice actually does pay off here, um, so I will do great balls on Siren, managed to get the ball so that's good so i have like one good die roll that, that we measure for goal but i'm not thinking goal at all um so i managed to get great balls going there and then i can kick it 
over to vCalculus and slide vCalculus over there with the ball. So check this out. This is where we kind of screw up. So he's going to clear, take a parting blow from Crucible, but I'm going to reapply fire and poison, and we forget to take the two inches off. So that's my bad. Uh, so this play shouldn't have happened, but that's okay. Um, and manages to get seduction off uh, on VCAT and forces uh, forces VCalc to kick the ball back to her, which is pretty awesome play, but it misses. Now, I make another stupid mistake here. I don't know how many we're up to, like six or seven stupid mistakes right now. And I leave the ball, I let the ball go all the way back to Siren. Um, I'm not sure, because the, the ball couldn't physically fit in that tight little space there where it would have hit the, the obstacle. So it ends up on the other side, and it gives Siren the ball back, and I forgot that Siren had another influence. So Siren just kicks the ball right back to Knuckles. That could have been a goal for me on that side had I just let somebody else um, keep the ball for a turn. But instead... You know, this is just, I'm just like handing the game over at this point. Anyways, um, at the, looks like in the off turn here, it looks like Shark is just going to, uh, I think I end up killing Shark with Kami? I don't remember. Shark is going to go down anyways to conditions, and looks like we lose a little bit of footage there. So I'm going to finally get on the board, 6-2, but in horrible position. Um... And just going to move a snake over there to do nothing. And we're going to count off the turn. I uh, I believe he is... I believe I win turn here. Yeah, I am going to win turn here because I have more momentum at this point. Because he had to spend quite a bit to try to keep people alive. So that's good. But again, like super poor play. <laughs> so I apologize to the alchemist. Always have a plan, guys. I did not have a first turn plan. And I was like, let's try the dumb thing that people keep telling me is a good thing. It's not a good thing, guys. Like, play very carefully with VCAT. Don't do dumb things. Um, he's going to play C's. I'm going to play um, Lone Striker. He's going to dodge up Knuckles there, secure his goal. I'm going to dodge Cami up. I should have, though, I should have dodged um, uh, Midas out of the play so that uh, so that VCAT could get in there and do maximum damage. Um, but anyways, um, Sakana is on one health. So Sakana is just going to die very, very easily. Um, uh, and then we'll, we'll see how the rest of this plays out. So I'm not sure. Oh, it looks like there's some allocation going on here. So Sakana, first swing, you know, VCAT. Kills Sakana, witness me. So a nice little pile of momentum. I'll heal back up. Um, just deciding if I can get over to Siren. Uh, I try walking around. That's not going to work. But I can, if I just park right there, I can actually get to within two inches of her. So I don't have to go very far. I just park right there. Um, and I throw a, a couple of buckets, actually. just I threw like one complete miss and then... Uh, and then she just counters, gets exactly what she needs to just double dodge out of that. That sucked hard, right? <laughs> anyway, uh, again, dice not helping me at all here. Uh, so this looks like, um, I think Kraken is doing some work here on this side of the board on, uh, VCAT. Gonna knock VCAT down try to push him out of the play, but not really. He's actually trying to push him towards Shark because Shark is um, waiting, coming in on the wing there. Uh, I go over here with the Snake, try to just pop Resilience off Knuckles, needing a three, failing. Uh, so again, thanks, Dice. Thanks. Uh, anyway, <laughs> um, here we go with, uh, I think Knuckles is just going to take this goal. So Knuckles is going to push the snake out of the way and just walk up, kick a little goal. Good, So no, good use of Knuckles throughout this game as a forward player instead of as a goalie. And the reason why he's able to do that, again, is because I handed him uh, VCAT at the start of the game. So Knuckles can play more forward. He's got a good, comfortable lead. It's 10-4. The ball gets thrown up that way. And I'm like, 
do I now here's a here's the the fatal mistake. Do I need a goal? I do not need a goal right now. Um, I need to play for that angel takeout. I'm sorry, the siren takeout, and then line up another goal. Playing towards this side of the ball, that side of the field is a, is just suicide. So uh, I kick it here, thinking um, I can heal V Cat and Shark on a full stack of influence cannot do anything. And he, we're, I know he's debating that as well. He's going to go over there with, uh, it looks like, I guess Siren's going to come back in and trying to get that seduction to happen again. So Siren, probably MVP of this game. Um, and you can see I just kicked the ball there, I kick a goal with, um, VCAL coping for a poor scatter, but it's a perfect scatter. So <laughs> ball perfectly scatters over to Shark. Shark's going to snap it up and kick the goal. So that's going to do it for this video. I want to thank everyone for watching. Have a good one, guys, and we will catch you on the next one.